Welcome to the Gauntlet! Yes, sir. Guys, this is week one. This is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. And at the end of this month, there will be one winner gas station that gets the ultimate prize. Let's go, Arco. Should we tell them what they get? The winning gas station, which will be Shell, will be getting the first and only golden gas, gas station, station in the world. Ooh. That looks like Arco's award. But, Wong, that's not it. That's not it. Everybody yeah. listen now. An ice cream party for the winning team. We're, We're talking about SpongeBob, Patrick, the watermelon one, ice cream sandwich, anything you get out the car. Come on. But it's not just any ice cream. It's your favorite gas station ice cream for the whole team. Oh, yeah. And what's crazy is you guys can start winning points right now. Now, actually, points have already been given out. There's so much team spirit out there, it's crazy. I love seeing all my Shell team dressed up in yellow. You guys are doing great. We see Arco over here bringing all our new friends, man. We getting those 750s all over the board. <laughs> and it's game night tonight, baby, so we gonna win a few, come on. Let's hear Arco! Oh, it's cute. We know we can cheer louder, but here are all the ways you can win points. Today, if you win any of the games, you get 1,500 points. And if you bring a new friend to youth group, you get 750 points. I already see some new faces out there, so there's a lot of points already being handed out. Oh, but yeah. that's not it. If you have the most team spirit, meaning you're chanting, you're screaming, and you're dressed up, that is 500 points, which can be given out multiple times. And since Arco over here, we don't smell like shell, we clean up. So if we clean up and stay after, that's 500 points. And you guys are gonna wanna stay up to date on our Instagram challenges because throughout the week, there will be multiple Instagram challenges. And if you keep doing them, that is worth 500 points. And for the last one right here, if you pull up to the gas station, obviously the best one of them all, Arco, you go get some gas, you go get some from the convenience store, 100 points if you pull up with the receipt. Show us those receipts. I mean, Shell, every time you fill up your gas tank at Shell or buy a snack, come bring us the receipt for 100 points. Now, I think it's time to remind them who's on what team. In the blue corner, we have the freshman girls, junior girls, sophomore boys, and the senior boys. Or go, or go, or go, or go. Let me hear it for the sophomore girls! Where are my senior girls at? Yeah! What about the freshman boys? And last but not least, the junior boys! You guys are on Team Shell! All right, we know what team is going to be victorious. It is Team Argo, first Team Shell. But let's see if they're ready to start winning some points. Yeah. Let's get started with the old-fashioned Screamer! The women, we are going to be chivalrous today. Woo! I'll let your team Come go on. first. Let's get high, Barco. 
All right, y'all. We're going to start it off right with the blue team. When I say shell, you say smells. Shell! 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 go! Or go! Or go! you guys just forfeited your scream off attempt so that leaves it up to shell on the count of three guys i need you to scream like you've never screamed before as much noise as you could possibly make one two three oh, wow. Shell, I'm struggling out here. what do they feed you guys over there? All right, Argo, hopefully you learned a lesson the next time you try to talk bad about your competition. You get forfeited! Now, now it's time to win some real points. We've got some challenges for you guys Ooh today. La la. Up, up for challenge we like to call Gaga. Gaga. You guys don't know how to play. For Gaga Ball. It is 1,500 points for whoever wins. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points, guys. We need to get those. Now what's going to happen? Second, everyone is going to get a chance to play and go in the cage. But first, we need to know how to play. Here's what you're going to do. You want to be the last person standing. It is an elimination game. There's going to be some bouncy balls in the middle of the cage, like on the picture. You want to avoid them at all costs, except when you're going to hit them to hit someone else. Here are some rules. Listen up, guys. We need to hear these so we can get this dub over here. Wong, what happens if you get hit below the neck? You are out. What happens if you throw the ball? You are out. Keep the ball, and you got to hit it. You got to hit it. You can't pick it up. Throw it. You're going to hit it, not throw it. Also, no face shots. If you do a face shot, you are out of here. And last but not least, if you hit the ball outside of the fence. You are, of course, out. Keep the balls in the cage. So this game is a free-for-all, which means everyone's in, and everyone can get out. And whoever's the last person standing, whatever team they're on, wins 1,500 points. I know my team shout's about to win! Woo! Let's go, Arco! All right, guys, we're going to get a timer on the screen, and when that goes off, we're going to start playing. Everyone, head to the cage, head to the cage. Go in, go in. Yeah. All right, go in the cage, go in the cage. We're about to get started. 
Everybody in the cave. <laughs> All right, we're going to get a timer on the screen. Get ready to go. Reps, make sure you're in there. All right, guys, we're about to get started. Get ready to go. Three, two, one. In. All right, let's get started in three, two, one, Whoa. let's hit it! Get it going! You are out! Headshots, you are out! You're out! No throwing the ball, keep it on the ground for me. Oh, Lord. Hey! Hey, no holding or kicking the ball. Hit it with your hand. Oh, whoa. Oh, man. With the trees on. Let's go, Arco! It is dangerous in that cage. If you are out right now, I feel for you. This is dangerous. Let's go, Gaga Ball! Oh! That looked like a throw to me. Shell. Hey, 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 what are, what are you doing in here? Go to your team, go on your team side. All right, Team Shell, let's show them how it's done. Go. We're down to the last of our team. All right, guys, keep getting that out. Oh, no, baby. Get off the fence. <laughs> and you are out of here. Hey. Hey. I'm seeing some movement. I'm seeing a lot of. Oh, get out. I'm seeing some people get hit and not get out. Reps, where are you at? Call them out, call them out. Are you yeah. having fun? Yeah. What's your name? Nolan. Nolan, what team are you on? Shell. Team Shell! All right. Get them out, Nathan. Come on, David. Let's go. This is the last of our squad. I'm seeing a lot Arco, of shell left. If I was on Team Marco, I'd be pretty scared right now. We need you. What do you guys think? I, I think it's getting pretty intense out there. Ooh. It's pretty intense over there. You heard it here Ooh. first. You heard it here first. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, See there's the a collision. The a collision on the court. Arco, Arco. Show, 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 show,
man. Got, that guy's out. That guy's out. Harley, what team are you on? Oh, I'm on Team Shaq! Let's go, Shaq! Now or never, brother. Rest How are you feeling here in the late game? Blast. Don't let them cheat. I'm seeing a lot of yellow. Hey, I'm just watching. I'm Let's just go, watching. Team Shell. How are you feeling over here, Shell? In the tight. In the end of the game Watch here. How are you feeling, Shell? It's oh. now or never. And that is 1,500 points to Team Show. All right, guys. Hey, that that, that loss is the final. Everybody, us, listen up. Show just got 1,500 points. You can still win points. Here's how. We are going to do one more round. Oh but we need two people from every team. Two people. So that's eight people, 16 people. I don't know how to do math right hey, now. Two people from the Two Super people Boys. for every small group. Leaders, help your students find representatives and go in the you game. You guys look to your ready. leaders to the side, okay? There should be 16 people total inside the cage. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two people from every small group. Guys, all right, two reps, people. let us know when we have all 16 people. Two people from every small group. That means eight girls and eight guys. Hold on, hold on, stay here. Where are the girls at? All right, reps, where are we at? Where are we at? We good? We got them? from every small group, so that means Argo should have eight people. Shell should have eight Hold people. On. All right, I need a senior girl leader to go inside the cage right now. Morgan, where are you at? Perry, where are you at? We need some senior girl representatives. Harley. We need one person to step out. One of you boys needs to sacrifice yourself. All right, guys. What do you boys need to step out? The timer is going to let you know when to go. If you're not in the cage by now, it's too late. You forfeited your points. The game begins. Junior. Two, one. Sophomore. Let's go! Oh, my goodness. What do you guys need to go? What is this huddle about? We started already! Oh! No.
you get him out. If you head are jumping. Ball. Go head shot. Let's hear it! Argo! 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 y'all go ahead and go look up vintage youth high school right there go on the right qr code the pull out your phones go on the qr code stay up to date with the challenges right there so you're going to want to sign up for a mind you're going to want to be up to date on our instagram and Wong. one last thing guys we need you to move the cage over so we can start the worship i'm gonna need a can we have everybody together grab a section of the cage, keep everybody the bottom on the towel, the All hands and on deck. move it out to the side. You might get some cleanup points here. We need you. Leaders, we need your help with this too. Everyone grab a chair and come join us for some worship. Bring your own chair. Let's gather around, come in, let's worship our God. Grab a chair and come. away the sins of all 
Forgiveness flows The hands and feet As violence meets The Prince of Peace Behold the
serve a God who makes a way for us. We don't make our own way. He is the way maker, amen? And he chose us before the foundation of the world to be holy and to be blameless in his sight. And when God lives inside of us, he's all around us. It says in scripture that we are the temples of the Holy Spirit, so he's living inside of us. And it's only through the blood of Jesus Christ that we get to sing to him tonight. We get to lift up a fragrant offering to him. Let's sing to him. Amen. Thank you. 
you to do what you're supposed to do. Amen. Let's do it. Woo. All right. Yeah. time. Which team's going to win the gauntlet? Let me hear a scream. Hey, well, before we get there, I need you to turn to the other team and say, you're going to lose. Go, turn. Uh, now turn to the other team and say, our gas prices are better. All right, now check this out. Before we get started, I wanted to talk about we are week two of Rooted and week two of the gauntlet. And I saw a picture online and it like really, really like kind of wrenched my, my gut. And I wanted you guys to look at it with me before we get started because, um, uh, Brian, make sure the volume's up for this. And I, I need you to pay attention because we're going to get serious real quick. It was one of the most disturbing images I've seen on the internet. And it was this right here. Oh my gosh! What's that? What's that? I've never seen. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna go down. Hold on, hold on, look. What's that? What's that? What is that? What is that? Hold on, one more time. What is that? What's that? What's that, brother? What is? What is that, brother? Brother. Brother, ooh, what is that, brother? What is that? Have you seen your gas station bathrooms? That's why you lock the bathroom at night. You're afraid someone's gonna clean it. Shell going down. Because look, look. Let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. This is what Arco look like. Come on, that's what Arco look like. That's what Arco look like. Come on, hey, 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 hey. Shell got real quiet over here. Shell got real quiet. Hey, but um. 
<laughs> Turn to the other team one more time and say, Jesus loves you. Turn to the other team and say, Jesus loves you. Jada, turn to the other team and say, Jesus loves you. <laughs> Gosh, bro. Hey, well, we're going to have more competition next week. All right? We know you guys were going to show up late today. You didn't know how serious the gauntlet got. You didn't know what we did here. We're trying to have more games, so we need you to show up on time. So next week, make sure you show out. And we didn't want you guys just to think that we came out here, put on a bunch of games so that you could just hear about Jesus. We didn't want you guys to think that. Like I said, we wanted you to know that we came out here to put on some games so you could hear about Jesus. Can I get an amen for that? What is it? Now, we're in week two of Rooted, and last week, if you weren't here, I wanted to tell you, which someone should have told me growing up, that where you are rooted, you will be routed. There are so many people that came to see what was going on this week, and we, pe we have people that flew out. Where's Roman? Roman, stand up. Roman, stand up. Roman. Ro Roman, Roman flew out here. Roman flew out here. The boys started to go fund me to fly him, fly him out here. Roman, where, where'd you fly out from, bruh? He came from Texas for the gauntlet. Not only that, but I need the utmost respect because we got the Marines in the house. So we got Staff Sergeant Boyd. Give it up for Staff Sergeant Boyd. And I don't know where he went, but we got Sergeant Cortez in the house. Where's Sergeant Cortez? Is he in here? Give it up for him. Give it up for him. They wanted to come help and support what we got going on here because it's serious. It's serious. And I wanted to tell you today, remember what a source is. Bam, I'm going to do that one more time. What a source is. One more time, one more time. What a source is. One more, one more, one more. What a source is. One more, one more. What a source is. Listen. What a source is, it's the basic cause, it's the source, it's the origin of something. And this is what I wanted to tell you, this is what the whole series is about, is where your roots are will show us where your route is. Amen. amen. Give me another amen. Give Jesus some praise. Goodness. Let me go my one more time, one more time, right here. This is a source. Now, where your root is, is where you will be routed. Where we see where your heart, your mind, your thoughts are growing from, that's where we'll see your future go. And this is important because guess what? The devil understands that. See, God is very real. God is very real. The universe just can't come from nothing. Something had to create everything with working systems. If God is real, that is also meaning that the devil is real. There's a real enemy out there, and he understands your mind, and he understands your thoughts. This is the crazy thing. The devil wants to influence your roots so he can influence your route. I'm going to say that again. The devil wants to influence your roots so he could influence your route. Now, that's scary because the devil doesn't care if you mind what he's doing. He just cares if you're blind to what he's doing. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Let me say that one more time. Wait a minute. Stop. Give Jesus some praise for that. He gave that to me. He doesn't care what. He doesn't care if you mind what he's doing. He cares if you're blind to what he's doing because it's so easy. Amen. If it's, amen for that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The enemy just wants to distract you. He just wants to distract you. You guys have heard this in so many sermons, but it's so real. If you're walking towards a goal, and you're walking in a straight line, and I go 1% off, and I keep walking, where will I be? I will not hit that goal. Everyone thinks the devil needs to turn you all the way around. Nah. He just gets you 1% off. Now, that's scary because he just needs a little bit of distraction, just a little bit, just a little bit. Throw back, throw back, y'all don't know about that. Now this is important, because we forget. How easily do we forget? See, we're talking about our roots. There is a war on your minds, and on your thoughts, and on your heart, it's so real. And you could see it, because what do we do? Where do we go for our source? Man, the devil's so easy, he wants you to think, man, that relationship will finally make you feel good enough. Oh, just a little bit off. Relationships are good. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. He wants you to think, ah, oh, if you just get the right amount of people to laugh at all your jokes and think you're cool, have the right amount of IG likes, hey, even if you get some followers on TikTok, hey, what about your Snapchat streak? God is saying, oh, my goodness, look out, because the devil wants you to think that that's what's going to bring you fulfillment and finally to make you feel good about yourself. See, that's scary. 
Because if the devil could influence your routes, I mean, if you could influence your roots, he could influence your routes. And where your root, where your source is, that's where your route is. And he has, there is a real, real, real war on your mind, on your heart, on your thoughts. And we came here to tell you that. That is why every leader, you guys, give it up for your leaders real quick. Give it up for your leaders real quick. Your leaders have fought for you. Your leaders have gone through so much. They understand that there's a war. And they want to fight with you and for you. I've seen leaders cry for you. I've seen leaders pray for you. And you didn't even know how much these people care. Because they were like, man, I was there. Ooh, that rhymed. Someone give me an amen. They don't. Amen! Oh, gosh. Stop it. But, but the devil wants to distract you. And I'm going to tell you something. You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. You stand no chance because you're not just fighting against the devil. You're fighting against yourself too. Hey, how many of you guys trust yourself? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you trust yourself. No, what? You trust yourself? You telling me if I told you to be here tomorrow at 6 a.m., you're going to be here at 6 a.m.? No way, bro. Hey, I hardly got that like that. Hey, Harley actually be going to the gym. Harley be at crunch like at 5 a.m. Oh, gosh, stop it. But, but we can't even trust ourselves. <laughs> My goodness. But the devil wants to lie. He does not want you to see the truth. But this is where we have something that he doesn't. See, we know the truth as a church. We know the truth. And it's not a what, it's a who. Who? shoot. Hold on. It's not a what, it's a who. And I'm going to show you real quick. If you don't know what the gospel is, the gospel means good news. And I'm going to show you in the book of John, it's in the Bible, Jesus was talking. He was talking to his disciples. He was preparing to go and die and be resurrected for us. And he says this to the disciples. He says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain are in me. And I in them will produce much fruit. Wait, who's talking right now? Tell me. Tell me who's talking. Jesus is talking. And he says, for apart from me, what can we do apart from Jesus? Nothing. Apart from me, you could do what? Nothing. Apart from Jesus, you could do nothing. If you think about a vine, the vine is what is going to be connected to these branches. These branches can't just produce fruit, can't just produce life on its own. It's connected to the vine. Now, in this text, we're studying the Bible together. Hey, give a round of applause. You guys are studying the Bible right now. Give a round of applause for yourselves. In this text, who is the vine? Who is the vine in this text? Tell me. Jesus. Say it one more time. Jesus. Say it one more time. Jesus. Jesus is the vine. And he's the vine. Ooh, stop. Jesus is the vine and he's the vine. But check this out. He's saying, apart from me, you can't do anything. Like I said, you don't stand a chance against what's out there. See, look. This is why we came here. This is why we gathered, because we want you to understand we need you to be connected to this community. But more importantly, you have to be connected to the vine and be rooted in this. And this is why. This is why. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Tell me if you're ready. I'll tell you oh, why. Check this out. So Paul, Paul was in prison. Paul's one of Jesus' top disciples. He used to persecute Christians, and then he started planting churches from persecution to planting. That's wild. Now check this out. He starts going and he starts preaching and he sends this letter to this church of Ephesus. And this is what it says. I need y'all to read along with me because guess what? The devil's actually okay with you being here if you don't do anything with the info. I'm going to say it one more time. The devil's actually okay with you being here if you don't do anything with the info. Amen. So check this out. He says this, a final word. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Hey, raise your hand if you forgot God is powerful. Okay, good. Good. All right, and then he says this, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, against evil spirits and in the heavenly places, this is what we are up against. This is what we are up against. Look, we are against evil rulers, we're against authorities of the unseen world, and we're against mighty powers in this dark world and evil spirits. See, sometimes when we find ourselves in a dark place, it's because we are listening to the prince of darkness. So... We're like, oh, my goodness, where am I being rooted? See, one time, um, we all understand this. Raise your hand if you're an athlete in here. Raise your hand. Put your arm back down because I know you got B.O. Oh, my goodness. Athletes in here. Real quick, athletes, what's the best sport? Shout it out. Real quick, let me hear it. For some reason, for some reason, 
Stop. Fortnite is not a sport. Okay. All I heard was basketball. All I heard was basketball. All right, stop, 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 stop. Well, we have, we have a certified coach and personal trainer in here. Coach Kyle, what's the best sport in here? Track team is the best sport. The base saddle. All right, but check this out. So I was a hooper. I was a hooper. I was defined by hooping. And I remember I went to this tryout down in L.A., and it was one of the hardest tryouts. And I need to tell you why basketball is one of the hardest sports mentally. All right? Because when you're playing basketball, not only do you have to look good in front of the coaches, but you have to look cool in front of the team. That's the important part. It's so mentally draining. So sometimes you'll see when we're running suicides, we have to run super hard, but we also have to look like we're not trying. So you get this like stiff run where it looks like we're just sore. You feel me? Chase, show them how to do it. Chase, show them how you know how to do it. Come on, Chase, show them how to do it. Watch him do it. Watch him do it. That's it right there. Yeah, look at that man run. Look at that man run. Give it up for Chase. What is he doing? Yeah, can you unlock my car while you're up? Can you lock my car while you're up? I'm just playing, stop. So I'm at this trial, I'm at this trial, and I'm about to, I, this is like my future. This is where I'm gonna go to college. I'm down in LA, I'm living it big. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try my hardest. And my dad came with me because I need my support. And my dad was there, my dad's a real one. He helped train me. He sat through all the trainings with me. He bought all the coaches. He bought all the trainers. My pop's a G. Dad, if you're watching, brush your teeth because every time I talk to you, oh my goodness. I'm just playing. I love you, Dad. I love you. But check this out. My dad is a G. I love my pop so much because he came out here. He even drove me down to L.A. for this. There's so much opportunity here. And I get there, but I have food poisoning. Wow. <sighs> it's my tryout. It's my thing to make it big. There's all these college coaches watching. And even worse, there's like so many players in there that I'm like, you know, I'm trying to look all cool. Look, this is how basketball players walk. Like I said, you got to impress the coaches, make, make it look like you mean business, but also you got to play it cool. So basketball players, for some reason, always look like they're sore. So I walk in the gym with my hood on, got my AirPods, got my little backpack. You know, you know the archetype, and then here's the walk. Look, it looks like I'm sore, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is how we walk. Real quick, can someone show me how basketball, I mean, uh, football players walk? Anyone know how football players walk? Where's Wong at? Wong, can you show us how, how do football players walk, bro? You know? Come on, Wong play football. Let me see how that walk goes. Mark up. <laughs> you walk like that. What is that, bro? What is brother? Ooh, bro, what is that, brother? Wait, how does, someone show me how soccer players walk. Someone, how, how do soccer players walk? Harley, show me how soccer players walk. How, how do soccer players walk? All right, sit. All right, sit down, sit down. No, please. All right, show us, show us what you got, show us what you got. What, what is that? What is that, brother? Oh, brother. Brother, oh. Brother, sit down, brother. Oh, brother. Sit down, brother. So listen, I'm standing up the stage. I'm trying to look cool. There's all this pressure. And I get in there, bro. And you want to know something crazy? My pops was there. Pressure was on. So much audience for me. And guess how I did in the tryouts? I was trash, dude. I was trash. I was airballing. People were making fun of me. I was like falling down. Uh, you ever seen a fifth grade girl basketball team? No. There's a reason why. There's a reason why you didn't. There's a reason. They were probably better than me. I was so tired. I was throwing up. And I was going to the bathroom for water. I was really just like blowing it up. And it was bad. And, and listen, listen. I'm sorry. That's too much. I'm sorry. TMI, TMI. It was on there. It was on there. Uh, it scored in my brain. But check this out. I was going... And my pop sees me. We're doing these things called five on fives on fives. And the coaches are watching us just play. And they're watching us just me mess up. Pops comes over. I see him walking over. I'm on the bench. There's so many players around. I'm trying to look cool, but I'm like secretly dying and judging everybody in the gym. Like, that guy's so buff. I hope I don't have to guard him. And, and my pops comes over, and I'm like, ah, oh, please don't talk to me. This is so embarrassing. Dad, no one else's dad is here. Come on, bro. And he comes up to me. He's like, son, what are you doing? Before we came here, I told you, you got to do your game. You got to play your game. And I was like, sorry, Pops, I forgot. And he's like, come on. I've seen you train and practice. Right now, all you're doing is passing the ball. You're supposed to show out right now. You got to do your thing. I was like, yeah, I know you got your sport, but I'm going to do my thing. I, I got this. I was so embarrassed that he was talking to me. I felt like I just couldn't do it. And everybody around me and the other teams were just getting into my head. 
because trials is like everyone's an enemy. And so I'm, I'm on the court, and I'm just messing up. I keep messing up. I keep messing up. And I just remembered, I was like, man, what did my father say? What did my father say? What was my father's voice saying? See, when, when I started to remember what he was saying, the enemy no longer had this upper hand. See, I started to play my game, and I actually made the team, and I lived down in L.A. for a little bit, by the grace of God. But check this out. This is, what, this is what we do. When we forget the Father's voice, when we forget our Father's voice, the enemy has an upper hand. Amen. Can I get an amen to that? Amen. And the enemy wants that. He wants you to forget in the heat of battle. Like he wants you to come to church, and then he wants you to just forget when you're in the heat of battle. When you forget the Father's voice, the enemy has an upper hand. And he wants you to really, really, really be distracted and distraught. And he says, he whispers in your ear, you don't need to be rooted, you got it. You don't need to be there, you got it. But when we're rooted, when we remember, and then we realize, God's, God's got us. And then the devil's going to start tripping. Because then you can say, oh, oh, look. I know the enemy says that this is what's going to fulfill me, but I no longer need my Snapchat to make me happy. Hold on, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I know the devil says that this is what's going to fulfill me, but I no longer need this relationship to make me feel good about myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that the devil says that my sport, my success, my school is going to finally make me feel good enough, but we say, no, we got God who's going to make us feel good enough. We got God who's going to be there for us. We got God who's going to be doing this for us. We don't need that no more. See, we're rooted in the heat of battle. There's a real war on your hearts, your minds, and your souls. When you walk outside of this room, it's so easy to forget. All these people around you, all this world around you, and that's what the devil wants from you. And he says, oh, you're not just, you're, you're, you're good. You're going to be fine. You don't have to be rooted. He's going to start whispering things in your ear. And here's the crazy part. You're not only going up against the enemy out there and these dark powers that are in the world. You're going against yourself, which is even harder. So this is what I'm saying. Against that stuff out there, you do not stand a chance. You do not stand a chance, but I'm going to tell you something crazy. You don't have to stand a chance when you stand with Christ. You don't have to stand a chance when you stand with Christ because he's got the mighty power. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I tried. I tried. I'll be messing up. But you don't have to stand a chance when you stand with Christ. The devil can't do nothing. All he could do is just turn, just get you one degree off, one degree off. See, if we're rooted, then we can't, we can't be touched. We can't, we, that's why we have to do this one thing. Are you guys ready? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. It's simple, but it's not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. We need to ask God to really change our hearts because we can't do it alone. And we've tried. And look where it has gotten us. Look where it has gotten us, reaching out for community, reaching out for something, reaching out for anything to make us finally feel up here. But we don't need that when we, have, when we stand with Christ. So here's what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to know God, pray, pray that God shows us him to know, really know him. Know him. Not like one of those uncles that's like at the barbecue and like, hey, you see that professional baseball player? I knew him. You did not know him, uncle. You're just trying to drop some names so you seem cool. Really know God like he's your, like, like know him and know what he says. Because if we forget what the father says, that's when the enemy has an upper hand. We're about to go to small group. Leaders, you know what to do. Small group questions are in the chat. But you guys, as we go through the gauntlet, we need to be rooted. That's what this whole thing is about. We come here to build community so that we can see Christ. I'm going to pray this out and let's go to small group. God, thank you so much for letting us have fun today. Lord, thank you so much for just ARCA winning next week. Lord, thank you so much for, thank you so much for clean bathrooms from ARCA. Um, Lord, I, I ask that we just, we, we stay rooted in you when the enemy hits and when ourselves hit. Lord, I ask that you show us really how to actually know you. And to listen and know what you say, I ask that you open our hearts and minds tonight. In Jesus' name I pray, everyone said? Amen.